Welcome to Steaming in the Garden. This is part two, and it's a Stuart Models major beam engine in steam. This engine belongs to a friend of mine, and he called in to see me and stopped for a couple of days, and we had a really good steam up and a really good chat, and we thought it would be a good idea to run some of these engines in the garden. This particular engine, as I've just mentioned, is called a Stuart major beam, and I rebuilt this engine from the ground up a while back, and it was a 38-part series. On the front page of this video, the one that you land on before you click to watch the video, there are several links. They are to Patreon, PayPal, my website, and also at the top of the list on this video there will be a link to the 38 part series playlist. Each and every morning I have a look on my computer, whilst drinking a cup of tea usually, and I see what comments have come in overnight. Most of the questions are people simply asking me about model steam engines and how they work and what I'm doing with them and why. Some of them are very offensive and I block those and some of them are quite funny, they make me laugh. There's one type of question that I'm really sick of getting and that's questions asking me to make videos about things I've already made videos about. Someone will land on the page, watch half the video, then make a comment on YouTube asking me something that if they'd have just watched the video to the end, the question would have been answered. Or they'll ask me about a previous series that I've made that they don't know about, because no one seems to go backwards, they always seem to go forwards. When I look at the statistics, I've got 960 videos on here, 960 videos, of which I would say a hundred of them are nothing to do with steam, but most of them are dedicated to model steam engines, answering all your questions, yet I still have to answer them over and over again every morning. My daughter Charlotte set up a website called steamclinic.com and the idea of this was to take the question overflow. And via the forum there's a wealth of information available. If you haven't tried it, have a look at steamclinic.com. The address is on screen. Or if you want more information, just watch the rest of the videos. There really are quite a lot of them and they're quite useful. For instance, if you want to know more intimate details about this beautiful Stuart Major Beam engine, please watch the 38-part series that I made when I did a ground-up rebuild. My friend Mike brought it up from Portsmouth, it was in a bit of a state, so I completely dismantled it and started again. And now, as you can see, it runs beautifully. And that's it for me for the moment, I'm not going to speak any more in this video. Unfortunately, you can't really hear the exhaust beat because the thing is so precise and so quiet. It's great to just see it running on steam. It's a beautiful thing. It runs like a Swiss watch. A very heavy, very hot Swiss watch. Oh, and by the way, at the very end of the video, you'll see a man with his hand on the valve on the boiler. That's not me. That's my friend Mike from Portsmouth. That's it from me. I'll just leave you with the engine telling its own story. So thanks for watching, and I hope you're finding this useful. Or at least entertaining. <laughs>